you're struggling, you're being overwhelmed, connect the dots in your own life, how God has been faithful to you. Connect the dots. Let your heart be encouraged. Let your faith be strengthened. Let your walk be dramatically empowered as you look at his faithfulness. This is what Habakkuk did, gang. Habakkuk looks on the nation of Israel. Israel's in trouble. So he cries out to God, God, look at Israel. God says, I see, I'm gonna wipe them out. I was talking revival, God. <laughs> no, nope, no, nope, gonna wipe them out. Gonna use the wicked Chaldeans to do it. They're more wicked than we are, how can you do that? Silence. I'm going up in my prayer tower, God, and I'm not coming down to you, answer me. Two weeks. God speaks. Trust me. That's it. That's it. That's all you're going to get. The just shall live by faith. So he comes down to the prayer tower. Guess what he does? He starts connecting the dots. God, you parted the Red Sea. God, you made the sun stand still. You knocked down the walls of Jericho. Bring on the Chaldeans. And though the fig tree doesn't blossom, and there's not going to be any fruit on the vine, yet I will trust you. Father, what a great song. Because it's the truth about you and all that you want to be to us. May every one of us Put our faith in you. May our hearts be encouraged today. Our faith be strengthened and our walk transformed because of who you are in the midst of this very dark world. We cling to you, Father, because we know you're going to cling back to us. In Jesus' name.